Hello everyone, welcome back to Y2 Night channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 5000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for support me, guys. Jerwanti Davis trainer weren't that cambosos, wouldn't last many rounds. Once George Cambosos Jr. took off his gloves following his second defeat to Devin Haney, he seriously contemplated whether or not he ever wanted to put them back on. Those consecutive losses came at the expense of his WBO, WBA, IBF and WBC franchise lightweight titles, an achievement he worked his entire life for. Did Australian native Charlie want to work his way back from the ground up? That process seemed exhausting. But after recharging his batteries, and finding that spark, the 30-year-old came to the conclusion that he still had plenty left to give. In his first fight back, Cambosos took on woman he considered to be a relatively soft touch in Maxi Hakis. But while the former IBO champ was expected to come over stateside, collect a check and leave his belt at the door, he gave Cambosos all he could handle. Although the confident Australian picked up the win, it was of the controversial variety. Regardless of how he ultimately got it done, Cambosos now has his eyes set on bigger and better things. The lightweight division has a long list of popular and dangerous fighters, the perfect scenario for the Azure. However, would be an immediate showdown against Gervonta Davis. With just over half of the year remaining, Davis has scored two knockout wins, once against Gacta Garcia and the other coming against Ryan Garcia. News of Scambosos placing Davis on his hit list was somewhat surprising to Calvin Ford, Davis' current head trainer. Although it's unlikely that they face off, Cambosos should consider himself lucky. From Ford's point of view, Cambosos would be absolutely annihilated at the hands of his pound-for-pound -pound star. Not even two, Ford said. Not even two. Amid fight callout, Terence Crawford discredits Gervonta Davis' championship status. As the two division undisputed champion, Terence Crawford has the world in front of him to pick and choose. At the T Mobile Arena, he taunted Jermel Charlo that he would be the next. Within the division, Jaron Ennis stands out about the rest. He could also go back to the rematch with Errol Spence Jr. However, amidst these conversations, a shot that has caught the crowd's imagination is a potential line-up against the Thunderous Gervonta Davis. But if his words in the last interview are to be believed, Crawford doesn't seem to hold the Baltimorean in high esteem. Tank Davis finally tested the three air on July 14 after spending 44 days in a Baltimore jail, arguably the most prominent face of boxing. He demolished the match fancied Ryan Garcia at the T-Mobile Arena four months ago. Understandably, given his kind of record, 29 victories, no loss, and a staggering 93% knockout to win rate, Davis is a natural barometer for another champion. Intent on charting a new course or consolidating his legacy, where does that put Terence Crawford in the equation? Instead, the question should be whether he is keen to be part of that link. So soon after checking Terence Crawford's walking weight, which is 147, Rashad Bilal from Aaron Your Liz Cure asked. But the biggest fight that I think that could be made is Tank Davis on a catchweight situation. I think he said that he felt confident um, that he would win that fight. So how do you feel about that? How do you feel about the fight? Is it possible? Is it even possible? Launin Bud replied that he would not entertain any catchweight fights, so Gervonta Davis will have to climb up to 147 pounds. When Bilal persisted that the Baltimoreans' house puff remains an undefeated champion, Crawford puzzled asked, ah, what champ? Now picket with curiosity, the host checked whether Davis held a championship or else. 
but Crawford continued. What bell? Then, as the conversation moved, Bud mentioned that Devin Haney had the undisputed championship in the lightweight division. When he said, so Devin Haney got all the belts, he is the champ, nobody else is the champ. Rashad Bilal stated that Gervonta Davis stood the bigger draw comparatively. So Crawford insisted that Devin Haney is the champ. He understood that Davis pulled in a larger growth. However, reasons exist for why different weight classes came about. Where it stands now, as it became clear that he did not intend to budge from 147 pounds, Crawford mentioned it that he would welcome Davis if he scaled up. Crawford's response is sure to draw many reactions from fans and followers. Gervonta Davis has remained the WBA regular lightweight champion, holding the title since 2021. What's your take? Should you want Davis scale up to 147 pounds to meet Terence Crawford? Please share your thoughts and use with us in the comments below. Terence Crawford dares Gervonta Davis to be great, come touch my chin. Terence Crawford has doubled down on the promise that he would remain in the welterweight division if Gervonta Davis wanted to move up and fight him. Following a career best victory over Errol Spence Jr. to become undisputed at 147, but Crawford is readying a move up to super welterweight to win titles in one last division before he hangs up the gloves. Despite those plans seeming solid, he has been consistently asked about the potential of a fight with lightweight Tank Davis. The questions stem from a clip on social media, in which the smaller man claims he could stop Crawford quickly, despite belief from Tang's team that the narrative is dumb and that he was initially joking and recording. The undisputed welterweight champion doesn't seem to be playing around with his in white. He told Sway that he would be there waiting should the Baltimore native want to dare to be great. Yeah, if you wanna dare to be great and be like all the other fighters that's moving up to weight classes, tell him come up here. He said I got a glass chin, so tell him come and touch it. At 147, I make 147 for him. Then what the people gonna say? Oh, he's beating up on little guys, Crawford said. Ever since defeating Carol Spence Jr. in dominant fashion a couple of weeks ago, Terence Bud Crawford has called out just about every top fighter within 20 or so pounds of his weight class. He has floated the possibility of fighting Canelo Alvarez at a catch weight. He even joked with Jermail Charlo during the Spence fight. Now it appears he has Jerwan de Tanga Davis squarely in his sights. Speaking on the Earn Your Leisure podcast, Crawford responded to a comment calling Davis a champion. What champ? Who is undisputed at 135 pounds? Devin Haney has got all the belts. He is a champ. Nobody else is the champ. Tanks the bigger draw. There is weight classes for a reason. Tell him to come up here with the big boys. I will welcome him. Crawford is technically right. Devin Haney has all of the lightweight titles at this moment in time. In order to set up a fight between Crawford and Davis, Tank would have to move up substantially in weight. Crawford has already mentioned he would only stay at 147 for a fight with Davis. That means Davis would need to gain and train with 12 pounds of extra weight. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.